Your favorite dress, your best pair of shoes, your bicycle, your school bag, you can't use them forever, even if you want to. As time goes on, they start to lose their value. The clothes do not look so nice anymore. The shoes start to need some mending and you need to start reminding your parents to get you a new school bag. Just like these items, fixed assets also lose their value. When an asset is continuously losing its quality, quantity, or value, it's called depreciation. Just like your favorite dress loses its value after some time. The buildings, the vehicles, and other assets a business owns also lose their value after they have been used for some time. No one wants to lose something important to them, but assets lose their value for different reasons. Assets can rust, decay, or lose value due to other physical factors like erosion and heat. Like the time your shoes got bad because they got into water a lot, using an asset continuously can also make it lose value because of wear and tear. Assets that depend on technology can also depreciate because of new technology. For example, people change their phones after some time because there is a new model that does more things than the old one. When a business starts to have more customers, the old asset might lose value if they cannot meet the increase in demand. No matter how much we love an item, we have to know that with time, it will not be as useful as it used to be. Businesses need to understand depreciation and the causes of depreciation so they can know which of their assets can lose value. I hope you enjoyed my class. See you in my next class, guys.